In this How to Svelte, we're going to make a light box from the W3 Schools How To section. And you can go ahead and take a look at this. It starts out with some images. Click on an image, and that will open up a light box with a black background. And it's more or less a slideshow gallery. You can flip through the images, and the image you're currently on is the one that highlights down here. And then we can click the close icon and go back to our initial screen. Now, because the light box is more or less a slideshow gallery, that's where we're going to start. And if you check out my How to Svelte slideshow gallery and start with that as the basis, then it'll be much easier to create this light box. And that's what we're going to do today, is we're going to start at that point. So over at the Svelte REPL, this is more or less the slideshow gallery that we finished with from that tutorial. Let's go ahead and convert it to a light box by adding a component, which we'll call light box. And I'm going to take all the code inside the app component, copy it and paste it inside Lightbox. And then inside the app component, I'm going to remove all of the code between the script tags, all the code between the style tags, and all the markup as well. So basically, we're starting with a blank canvas here. But we know that we've just moved the whole slideshow gallery into Lightbox. So let's go ahead and just import Lightbox. So after you bring in the Lightbox component, let's add a button. And what this button component will do is toggle a variable which will hide and show the light box. Let's first tuck the light box inside an if block. And the Boolean we're going to make up here, we'll call modal open. And we'll set it to false. And so this if block will be based off of if modal open is true. And if it is true, then the light box will show. And let's just go ahead and hard code true, and you can see it shows up. Let's put it back to false. It goes away. And so we'll let our button control that modal by adding an on click. And we'll assign modal open to whatever its opposite currently is. So if it's true, it'll make it false. If it's false, it'll make it true. So now if I click this button, it shows. If I click, click it again, it'll hide it. Now let's work on the actual light box. You can see from the W3 schools, one element to it is to actually have a high contrast background so that the images really pop off the page. So coming back over to our light box component, let's take our markup and we'll surround that in a section tag. Then we'll go ahead and add some CSS for this section with a class of light box. So now if I click the button, we get that black background. And the one thing we need to do is be able to close this. And so we'll add a little closer icon much like at W3 Schools, they had a closer icon up here. So right below the section tag, let's add that closer icon. We'll add the CSS. And so we've got a closer icon. Now it doesn't work yet, so let's wire that up. So inside the span tag, let's add an on click. And then forwarding up to app, we'll come over to the light box, put on click in there. And when this closer icon is clicked, we basically want to do the same thing that we did here. So now if I open it, I click the closer, it'll close the light box. 
Now to make this light box appear a little bit smoother, let's go ahead and add a transition. And we'll add a transition to this section tag right here. So at the top, let's go ahead and import Then on this section tag, we'll use a transition attribute and we'll have it come from the left side by 300 pixels. So right now if I close, it just goes out the opposite way. So let's refine this, we'll make an in and out. So on the in, we'll fly in from the left and then we'll use an out directive to fade out. comes in from the left and now it should just fade. And we can use fly, fly and fade because we imported both of those at the top. And the last thing we wanna do for our light box is create this opening screen. So we have a button already on our app component. That's what this is. Let's go ahead and make another component and we'll call this image display. And inside image display, just like we did in our light box where we imported the images from our image data, we'll do the same thing on image display. And in the markup area, we'll set up what that row looks like. And so we want to loop through all of the images coming through. So let's set up a svelte each loop. And now image actually represents a small object. So let's destructure that. And we'll add some CSS as well. Okay, now we have to set this up inside of app or we won't be able to see it. Inside the if block, we'll add an else. Good, so we got our images showing up and we've got our light box button. Now the light box button works and the closer works, but what doesn't work yet are these images. And so what we want to happen is when we click on the image, we want to open the light box with this image showing. So if I click on this image, then the light box should open with this one showing automatically. So we wanna capture the ID from here and set set it to a variable. And that variable is probably gonna be the same one that we use in light box. We'll use image showing. And so inside of this for loop, inside of each image, we'll set up a reference to on click and we'll forward that event up to app and put it inside of image display component. And inside of image display component, let's have it call a function. We'll call that one handle image click. And we can make that here. And in order to get the ID of the image, we're gonna to need to use the event object. And so we need to come back down here and set up our on click to also use the event object. And we basically want to come back to Lightbox. We're going to use image showing index, like we said before. Now, in order to use this inside of app, we're going to need to export it as well. If we don't export it, we won't make that piping between the two components. Let's call this slide ID instead. And again, we need to make sure slide ID will be zero, one, two, three, but again, we need to make sure that it actually is a number. 
instead of a string. And so when we click this, when we click handle image click, it should set image showing index to the index uh, of the picture we're clicking on, but we also need to make sure to open up the modal. So now if I click this picture, which should be zero, one, two, three, four, five, fifth one in the array, if I click that, it's not working yet. And the reason it's not working yet is we haven't piped image showing index um, over to Lightbox yet. So let's come down here to Lightbox. And we'll, we'll use Svelte syntax and we'll put that in there. Now, now the image showing index will actually go over to Lightbox. And if we click this picture again, then it shows and the thumbnail is highlighted correctly. If I click this one, and so I can navigate whichever way I want to go, and it shows up correctly, close it, and we're back to the beginning screen again. And that's more or less how you change a slideshow gallery to a light box.